It's magic. Well, kinda. It's a new Apple iPad Magic Keyboard. And we're gonna unbox it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here to the channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And if you've been here before, or if you're already subscribed, Welcome back. So yes, finally I got my hands on the new Apple iPad Magic Keyboard. I'm pretty excited about this thing because it basically makes it feel like the iPad Pro is floating. It is literally kind of like magic in a way. But this video is about unboxing it and checking out what it actually comes with, so let's get to it. We do get a nice little tab to rip the cellophane. I only get to do this once, so whew, I'm gonna mentally prepare. Here we go. That's that's all that that is all I got out of that. <laughs> Just this little section. So that didn't <gasps> That actually I never do it like that. That that was a little bit that was satisfying. That was kind of satisfying. Who says the cellophane removal needs to be sexy? I don't. I do, actually. And that was uh, whatever, I could still make it sexy. <laughs> so quick look at the box, you can see iPad Magic keyboard right there. That's on the front. We get some more information on the back of what it actually does when it unfolds and how you're actually going to use it and nothing else on any of the other side. So literally just a front and a back in case you're worried about that, in case you're kind of curious about that. But now for the most important part, the reveal. That probably, is, is it really that heavy? This thing's kind of a tank, at least from the way that just thudded like you heard that. This thing, okay, we'll find out in a second. But that is the top part of the box inside here. Here we go. Roll up my sleeves for this. So, we have another little tab right there that's gonna help us to sexily, is sexily a word? In a sexy way, remove the actual magic keyboard. Here we go. That's it. Th there's literally nothing else. It's it, This is it. How could there be nothing else? There's gotta be more. Maybe it's inside? We'll find out in a second, but bottom part? We get another chance at a cellophane removal, so let's enjoy it. Come on. Okay, come on. How does this, how does this work? I'm like afraid I'm gonna break it. What is, oh, there we, oh. Ooh, it snapped. <gasps> there it is. That feels amazing. So, Apple, you tricky little tricksters. The information, you know, the little inside packet and all that is actually inside the case itself. So, there it is. There's nothing else in here. This is just kind of like a, placeholder. We'll get to this in a second. More on that in just a second. But before we do that, inside this little packet of information, we will find... That's it. iPad. Magic keyboard. We open this up. Okay, this is a little quick start guide to tell you how to use it. Is that it? It folds two ways. So, front, back. Some regulatory safety warranty information in these other two packets. So, that's it. No Apple stickers. Frown face, but that's what that is. And now, to the case itself. So, basically, it looks pretty similar to the Smart Keyboard Folio case, to be honest. But it is no Smart Keyboard Folio case. It is the Magic Keyboard. There is magic involved, so I understand. So let's figure out what that magic actually is. But you open it up. It like snaps into place there, and then you have this nice little adjustment. Wow, this is pretty well thought out. I mean, that's it right there. That is your that is your magic keyboard. But to really see and understand this thing in all its glory, of course we have to try it out with an actual iPad. So, I have my trusty iPad Pro right here. If you guys are interested, by the way, in my iPad Pro setup, there will be a video link, a video card that's gonna pop up top right hand corner of your screen, or of course a link to all the different parts. My iPad Pro setup will be found in the video description box below as well. So this is my 2018 iPad Pro. We also do have a 2020 iPad Pro, which is upside down on deck right here. So we could actually try out both of the iPad Pros in the new Apple Magic Keyboard, because supposedly this keyboard is backwards compatible, meaning either the 2018 or the 2020 iPad Pro, the first and second generation, will be compatible with it, so we'll find out. First, let's try the 2018. So I'm gonna undo my setup here real quick. 
boom, good to go. It's just gonna be kind of like a magnet kind of situation here. So we take our iPad, we're gonna place this down like that, I guess. We have a little magnetic connection. That's the little three prong connection right there that's actually gonna connect the keyboard to the iPad Pro so the two could function with one another. We're gonna take the iPad. Oh yeah, oh, very strong magnets. Snaps right into place. So here it is, wow. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's pretty darn heavy. It is almost as heavy as the 2020 MacBook Air. I'm gonna compare the two real quick. Okay, not quite as heavy as the MacBook Air, but close, but definitely close. I'm nitpicking here, but it's, a, it's an honest comparison. So right away, comparing the Magic Keyboard to the Smart Keyboard Folio case, Definitely a difference in weight. So if that's concerning you, that's something to pay attention to. And I'm definitely gonna review this case probably together with the iPad Pro. So obviously subscribe if you wanna be up to date on when that video drops. And we'll discuss more comparisons and more review style comments on the Magic Keyboard in that video. But for now, I'm gonna try to keep it to just an unboxing. You take your Apple Pencil. You don't do that. You take your Apple Pencil, you put it on top and you're set, you're good to go. That is the Magic Keyboard and iPad Pro setup. So you can see, yes, works with the 2018 iPad Pro, no problem. You're just gonna have a rather enlarged square cutout on the back of the Magic Keyboard. For comparison purposes, of course, I'm gonna do it with the new 2020 iPad Pro. Okay, so that's how you remove it, by the way. In case you're wondering how to remove it, I would suggest you kind of just open it up, place it down, turn it, and then you have this little lip that's exposed underneath. Just kind of gently, there you go. I actually kind of like that, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. 2020 iPad Pro, let's try that out. So you take that same kind of thing, it just magnets into place, very strong magnets, that's important, I love that. And then you can see on the back, okay, now the cutout makes a lot more sense with the different camera configuration on the 2020 iPad Pro, the entire cutout fits the entire camera housing part of the 2020 iPad Pro, so that looks a little bit more normal. But it is cool that the Magic Keyboard is compatible with either 2018 or 2020 iPad Pro models. But of course we have to try out this trackpad. This feels like a legitimately well-built, high quality keyboard. I like that. Just for the heck of it, I wanna put back the 2018 iPad Pro onto the Magic Keyboard, Apple Pencil on top. I wanna to test out this trackpad feature. As you guys know, in iPad OS, we now have mouse support or trackpad support. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. Actually, okay, so maybe I'm gonna like it more than I thought I did. Let's try out typing in a notes section here. This is what it feels like to type on the new Apple Magic Keyboard. Feels great, feels amazing. It actually feels like there's a lot more responsiveness in the keys on the Magic Keyboard as opposed to the Smart Keyboard Folio case where sometimes it's just hard. There's not really a lot of, I don't know, it's, it's, there's more like button feel on the Magic Keyboard as opposed to the slightly very loose, kind of minimal, almost hard to tell if you're actually clicking the button kind of feel on the Smart Keyboard Folio. That was such a mouthful. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully that made sense. But that is the unboxing of the new Apple Magic Keyboard. I'm gonna stop the unboxing there because I'm already getting into like a full-fledged review of this thing. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna withstand, not withstand, withhold, withhold. I'm gonna restrain myself from reviewing it any further until I actually give it a full-on testing. But with that having been said, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing of the Apple Magic Keyboard. I like it. I love the little Apple logo on the back there. That's something you do not get on the Smart Keyboard Folio. So having that new little Apple logo, mm-hmm, I like it. If you guys wanna find out more information about the new Apple Magic Keyboard, or if you just wanna cop one for yourself, you guys could actually head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash magic keyboard, or of course, there will always be a link in the video description box below as well that you could click, so be sure to check that out. And if you enjoyed this unboxing, of course, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and comment down below your thoughts on the new Magic Keyboard. Do you think it's gonna blow the Smart Keyboard Folio out of the water? Do you still prefer the light, minimal, kind of non-intrusive feel of the Smart Keyboard Folio? Do you not care about the trackpad and you still want the larger keyboard? Because there's a couple things to consider here. There I go again, reviewing already. Leave your initial thoughts or just your thoughts in general on the Magic Keyboard in the comment section below. I'm gonna go put this thing to the test, find out if I actually love or hate the trackpad. This thing is starting to feel more and more like a computer. I don't know if I like that or I hate it. That's the question. That's that's what I gotta decide. I'll see you guys in my next video. Do I love you? Do I hate you? I love you. I hate you. I don't know. Can't decide.